With the introduction of technology, school has changed so much over the years. I mean, in elementary school, a lot of people were eager to participate, and uh, this is what we have now. All right, class, welcome to a class that is so useless, you could probably wipe your ass and gain more knowledge. All right, so uh, who wants to share something they did cool this summer? Anybody? No? All right, well, this summer I went to- I feel like the only one that ever had an interesting answer was the teacher. I mean, granted, we were children and we and we couldn't decide what we wanted to do, but I feel like, yo, teachers just prided themselves in just telling you what they did over the summer. I don't know why. East Guam, and it was- Yeah, and then you gotta hear about this dude's trip to East Guam that you don't care about for, like, an hour. He'll tell you every single detail to even which category he was watching on a certain website that very night. And the reason behind why, like, participation in school changed is probably because it just got more boring and people now have phones. So, obviously, they're gonna do that instead. So, I remember in elementary school, we got rewarded for getting the right answer. So, obviously, that's gonna influence me to scream the answer if I had to. I had to do it if I I wanted to win some candy, Pokemon cards, or whatever the hell people were giving out. But instead, I feel like since, you know, people don't raise their hand. Chat, what is the greatest toy ever known to mankind? What, if you guys had to say this, this one invention was the best thing known, what are y'all saying? It's Beyblade. It's Beyblade. It's Beyblade. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules, dog. It's Beyblade. Stress toys. Hands anymore. They like to throw them Ooh. instead. I don't know what it is. Uh, you know what, I, 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 I regret asking y'all that question. I wanted to win some candy, Pokemon cards, or whatever the hell people were giving out. But instead, I feel like since, you know, people don't raise their hands anymore, they like to throw them Ooh. instead. I don't know what it is with people fighting in the cafeteria at 7 in the morning, but, like, I don't even know where these dudes come from half the time. They just spawn in and they start beefing. And ain't nobody gonna stop them. Nah. Yo, Chad, be honest with me. Look, look, look. It's, it's not stereotypical if it's true. One of the most annoying people in school were the hot Cheeto eating girls in the back, back room, the back, the back of the class that were yelling in the morning. Nigga, I just ate cereal. Why are you screaming? I don't get it. How do you have that much energy in the beginning? What the hell, dude? I don't know. People are gonna record the fight instead. When I was in high school, and ain't nobody gonna stop them. Nah. People are gonna record the fight instead. When I was in high school, there was a fight like almost every day. And I would see it all over people's Snapchat stories that afternoon. Like there were- Chad, who, um, like, um, who, like, what type of person were you in the fight? Like in terms of fight, like, who, were you the instigator? Were you the, were you the designated recorder? Were you the one that like, I'm not gonna lie. I was the, I was the bystander. I was the type of person that'd be like, damn, oh shit. I, you know, I, I wouldn't be like, oh, get him, get him, nigga. I was more of like the, damn, like, damn, like, that's the, that's what, you were the recorder. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like, um, it switches depending on what you're feeling. Like, if you want to be the recorder the, uh, of the fight, if you feel like it's an interesting fight, of course I'm gonna record, but I, I feel like the roles just be switching. You was the one at home sleeping, the one that just stares, you were the actual fighter. Yo, chat, be honest with me, be honest, be honest. Who in here has lost a fight? Who in here has lost a fight? I know one of y'all niggas lost fights. I lost a fight before, but I've won. Me, not me. That's that, that's a lot. Chad, y'all want to see my fight video? Y'all want to see me fighting, chat? Y'all y'all want to see the fight video? It's like even if I if I did have it, I wouldn't show y'all niggas. Fuck no, fuck no. There was no stopping these people from becoming the next world star prodigy. And sometimes it would really get out of hand, and people would be throwing food all over the place, and there'd be like a big ass food fight in the cafeteria. Oh. Interesting story chat. Someone actually threw a chocolate milk in my forehead and I had a and I had a bump. I just had to I had to let y'all know that. Oh, bro, what the hell? Who just threw this piece of pizza at my face? I ain't messing around. Get the milk carton, bro. We got him. Yes, sir, bro. We gotta get her to get back. Let's it starts an entire war in the cafeteria. I don't know how many of you have had this happen at your school, but I think I've had like a mini food fight happen at my school once, but that was about it. Like nobody was starting food fights for me, at least like years ago. In middle school, we were chill and we were just doing freestyles or whatever the hell, but but for me personally, in high school, that's when disaster just unfolded. Now, as for school bathrooms, ever since TikTok was introduced. I don't know why. I think around when I was in 10th grade, that's when okay. TikTok became popular. And that's when I would always see some dude hitting a TikTok dance in the bathroom. <sighs> have y'all, Chad, have y'all ever caught someone doing a TikTok, TikTok dance in your school? Huh? Uh, I'm trying to think. I, I think people weren't in a, TikTok wasn't the, like, it wasn't the, I know that, no, that there, there definitely worse people doing TikTok dances. I'm not gonna lie. If you have the confidence to put up your phone 
so you could do a TikTok dance in front of the hallway while people are walking, trying to get to class, and your ass wants to hit the Charlie Emilio dance? You need to be checked. You need help. You need help, buddy. You need help. It was the PE girls. The it would it would be the PE girls if you think about it because they they don't care about you know hitting the mile run. They just want to hit the. Okay, let me stop. Let me keep going. Ah, that wasn't good enough. Retake. Oh, what the fuck? I guess I don't gotta go that bad. Oh, hell no. I'll go later. But in elementary school, of course, people were trading Pokemon cards and silly bands in the bathroom. That was like the hot spot for where not to get caught with silly bands, because apparently teachers just did not like fun at school. Like, I don't know what was up. Like, they were really getting heated over goddamn silly bands and Pokemon cards. Like, wh what is it to you if I want to show off my EX cards? Like, but yeah, I think as soon as I entered high school, the bathrooms officially became a hot box. Like, I don't know what happened, but literally everyone and their mom started vaping. People were selling certain substances in there, and it went from trading Pokemon cards to uh, dealing other things. If you're in middle school and high school and you're already vaping, bro, I genuinely want to know where you're going to be at in life in a couple years because in middle school and you're vaping, I, I know people who are vaping in middle school. Do you know how insane that is? Dude, have you even, tr have you even tried living yet? Have you, have you even tried like doing, pff, I don't know, running, exercising, playing video games, doing real things? I mean, that's just how it was. Everybody has something on them in class. They, they were trying to hide it in their sleeve and be all slick with it, but obviously that's not going to work. Like, you can't expect the teacher not to smell it. Like, even if you blow it towards the window, that ain't going to mask the smell of skunk in the air, bro. I don't that's know why facts. people would bring that with them in the first place. Like, bro, you really taking the risk out here. Like, there were some people that really were, like, just straight up hitting it in gym class, like, sitting on the bleachers. Like, I swear, some people were actually dense. Like, what are you doing? You have so many eyes on you right now but as the years went on classes changed a lot but more specifically gym class yo yo chad you know what's the crazy experience i've ever had in, in like in pe class and in there, there was a time where i i know a lot of guys could relate like where everyone would just get naked and then we would just start like y'all don't y'all don't remember that I, I feel like that was the the best part in high school Gym class went from really fun activities like rolling around on this goofy looking scooter to either A, sports I didn't give a fuck about, or B, like some drill sergeant ass shit. But one thing in particular about gym class that didn't change at all was the fitness grand pacer test. Oh, this thing is no. just never gonna hell. go away, is it? No, 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 no. One thing, chat. Oh my goodness, wait, chat. What is y'all score for the fitness grand pacer test? How much laps did y'all do? There's one thing, even though I hated the, the fitness grand pacer test, I'm a competitor. I don't care. I don't want to see my friends going doing it more than me. I don't I don't want them doing laps more than me. So one thing's for certain, I will not lose. But that's just me. I don't know if if, if y'all are like that. But I will not lose to my friend. I, if anything, I could lose to anyone else, but my friends, no. Remember, there would be kids just lined up at the drinking fountain. Four, one, yo, you guys are lazy as hell. How do you, four laps and y'all quit? After the, the pacer test. And there would always be that dude that was like, damn, bro, I am hella parched. One, two, three, save some for me. Bro, I swear, you say that shit to me again, and I will get you a drink from the fucking bathroom. Like, people in elementary school were just generally more ops, and I was one of them. I was one of the ops back in the day. Like, I, I'm just ashamed to admit this, but I was one of those dudes that would just shush people. Like, I would put my finger up to my mouth and start shushing people when they would talk. Yeah, I was really that dude. Like, if we were just walking in the hallway and somebody started talking, I would go up to them and start shushing them. Um, excuse me, you need to be quiet. There's other students trying to learn. I wish I could go back in time and just slap the hell out of myself and be like, dude, stop being such a fucking nerd, will you? Now, the assemblies in elementary school were just hype. Like, we had some hype-ass assemblies. Like, we had a magician come in. Uh, no, nothing, look, look, look. Assemblies went from in elementary school being like, you know, fire guests and whatever, people that I feel like there were, were amazing speakers and shit that had talents, and then in high school, that's when people that were, were convicts and drug addicts, and <laughs> you had the most craziest people t telling us, like, advice and shit. Like, bro, what happened to the to the cool assemblies? <laughs> now we're getting, like, like I don't know, but it is, it's insane how it, how, how it changed. 
And as a nerd back in the day, of course, of course I loved the book fair. But now, at least for me, assemblies suck, bro. They were garbage. It's always like PSAs telling people not to vape when exactly. obviously you cannot stop them. Like, what are you gonna do? You cannot do sh or like some anti cyber bullying thing and you just have to sit through some boring ass presentation. I'd just be on my phone, bro. Like, I just didn't care. I thought school assemblies, it was supposed to be like a hype moment when you had an assembly, but Facts. I was just like, all right, Facts. well, at least we get time away from class, but exactly. I gotta sit through another boring ass lecture. That's what I thought to myself. Now, bullying in school has changed so much. It went from, of course, physical bullying to uh, virtual, obviously. You know, a lot of people like to hide behind the screen and say some shit to other people instead of actually saying it to their face. And there was a lot of cyberbullying at my school, hence why we had like these PSAs and shit about cyberbullying. And unfortunately, there's not really much you can do in that situation. Like the the most you can do is tell an adult or a teacher and and that Chow, like what type of person were you were you? Like if you see someone getting bullied, what would y'all do? Are y'all are y'all the type to just join in? Like <laughs> would y'all join in or would y'all like actually like help? I'm not gonna lie, here's the thing. I hate bullies, right? I hate bullies. Like, bro, we're all here trying to get some education. And so why y'all asked want to be a comedian? Just just let people breathe, dude. I don't see chat, bullying never made sense to me. Because how are you so mad about another pe person being ugly or fat or whatever? Dude, is that not weird? Like, how are you mad uh, about someone else's looks? Like, dude, just, just <laughs> like, if you don't focus on yourself, I don't know. It's so weird. I hate bullies, bro. Bullies are so weird, bro. I don't know. Sala, are you a bully? You are a bully? No, I'm not a bully. I don't think I, no, 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 no. I, I mean, nigga, this is just chat. I mean, I'll be joking with y'all. Um, Earlier, you were making fun of the murderers. Look, all right, you could be a bully to people who deserve to be bullied, okay? Is that not facts, chat? Is that not facts? Exactly, Kinza, this nigga think, oh, 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 he's a murderer? Oh, okay, let me be, let me be nice. L let me, dude, they, they murdered people. Of course I'm a bully them. That could lead you to actually get in your ass beat. So it's a coin toss. I feel like now physical bullying has become kind of rare. Like bullying used to go something like this. Hey, yo, bro, I need this homework done by tomorrow. Can you get this done for me? I'd appreciate it. But no, actually, that, that, that would be cheating. I cannot do your homework. Oh, hell no, bro. This is why you don't get no bitches. I swear you do this shit every time. I may get no bitches, but actually, I have the highest GPA. In get the fuck in that locker before I shove you in it. Okay, fine. I'll get in the locker. But now- I'm sorry. That is high school musical bullying because if you're getting shoved in the locker, you're getting shoved in the locker, dude. What? <laughs> All I know is that has to be some suburban school because that is not for where I live. No, you don't get shoved in no locker. I was more or less you just make a post about somebody. Back when I was in elementary school and I didn't even have lockers, people who were in high school would actually use their lockers. But now barely anyone uses their locker because they have absolutely no room in them. Like, what are you even supposed to put in there? Like, I mean, me personally, I'd much rather just carry my backpack around with me. There's no point of using a lock. They're small as hell and there's a stampede of people coming across the hallway. Like, what the hell is the point of using them? I'd much rather just have my... Chat, what do you, um, um, what do y'all think about people who, like, you ask them, like, oh, bro, what's the homework, and, and, and they don't give you the homework because they don't want to be caught for cheating. You are a horrible person. You are a horrible person, dude. Because at the end of the day, right, if I get caught cheating, I could just say, oh, I took a picture of his homework. He never allowed me to. But your ass wants to be, uh, uh, like, bro, like, why you want to be selfish that much, dude? It's... It's literally, and no, no, and no, no, for the homework that, you know, it's only right answer, so there's no such thing as cheating. Dude, why are you being so stingy? And chat, I was, I was a smarter kid, right? So I would be the kid that would get all A's. If my homies wanted the homework, dude, right here, right here, right here, I've never once got caught for cheating. Like, you know, no, no one ever got, the teacher never got mad. I don't know. Stuff with me so I can just dip right away at the end of the day. Like, I did not touch my locker once in high school. Like, I kid you not. Now, as for, like, after school activities and things like that, it has changed a lot. You could really start a club for about anything now. Like The people, or the people who, who lied that they didn't do it, and when they... Eh. Yeah, yo, Kinza, take take another English class. Things like that, it has changed a lot. You could really start a club for about anything now. Like, I never thought I would see the day where people started a club for ping pong at my school. I mean, ping pong's goaded and all, but I never expected it to be like a school club. Chat, what is the worst, like, 
What what is the worst school sport? To me, it's nah. Badminton is fire, bro. Oh, what's the worst club you guys have in your school? Like, what is the most awkward one? So I think for us, what was it? There was a key club. I think key club is popular though. I I don't, I don't know much about it, but I don't think my school had any weird clubs. To be honest, there's a Fortnite club in your school. What in the world is Fortnite that like what? Yo, Fortnite club. What, what are y'all doing? Y'all just like, oh, y'all just be practicing? They couldn't call it like a gaming club? Fortnite club? There's a furry club in your school? What? Yo, whichever administrator is in charge of the of a furry club, you need to be arrested. Because why in the world are you getting students to fantasize about? Because I, I don't know about y'all clubs, but for us, any club has to be like um ran by an adult or supervised. So for y'all to allow a furry club is insanity. Take care, I'm that guy. Sports and things like that have changed a lot too. Like grades have way more of an impact than they used to. And you know, sometimes people would get in trouble for the dumbest things too. So they couldn't even play in the game. Now one time my friend, right? He was on the baseball team. We were supposed to follow this rule where apparently you couldn't use the crosswalk at my school. It was the dumbest rule of all time. You have to use a bridge instead, like a crossing bridge. But he used the crosswalk one day and the principal caught him and he couldn't even go to baseball practice for like two or three days. Just because he didn't use the bridge, he had ISS for two days and he couldn't go to baseball practice. Like principals, I swear, have become more dense over the years. Like how do you even come up with these rules? Like, I don't understand. Obviously no one's gonna use the bridge if the crosswalk is more convenient. In high school, people would always be in the office for the dumbest shit. But in elementary school, yeah, people got in trouble, I'd say for a pretty good reason. When like, one time this dude just like jumped the fence and ran in elementary school and like every teacher was chasing him. But I mean, if we all ran, they can't get us all, if you really think about it. I could not tell you how many times people got in trouble for the dumbest shit in high school, though. My principal was just an op in general. All right, so uh, Mr. Dorble, why are you in here today? I don't know why I'm here, and I don't know who I heard. Well, so it appears you've been walking on the wrong side of the hallway. Uh, I'm gonna have to give you a nice little few days in ISS. Hopefully that'll make you learn your lesson, and uh, what did you learn from this? So what do you want me to do instead? You want me to go crip walk or something? The principals would always ask the dumbest questions. Like, oh, what'd you learn from this? What do you want, a script? What are you, a fucking robot? Like, are you programmed? Like, T Chad, who's worse, teachers or, or principals? I think it really just depends. Um, I, I, my high school principal is good. But I feel like middle school and like elementary school principals are worse. They're worse to me, to me. But I, I, I think teachers are worse than principals, aren't, like generally speaking. Like, are you, are you AI generated? I swear these motherfuckers had to be programmed. Like, come on. Like, how are people getting in trouble for dumbass reasons like that? And now something else that has changed drastically, of course, just over the years, not just in school, but just over time, was the slang. When I was in elementary school, nobody even knew any slang. Like, the closest thing to slang that we had was yo. Of course, when more people got internet access and the introduction to Vine, people would always just reference Vines and shit like that and create... Uh, bro, chat. I you which one do y'all think like changed the um what you call it like the culture in real life like more Vine or TikTok? I feel like it was Vine because Vine, bro, the amount of times like people would copy or or like y'all remember like what are those or or oh is it what is it called oh back at it again with the white bands like 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 y'all remember like people would copy Vine things like crazy, bro. What else? Uh, oh, these nuts? Yep, exactly. There was just so much. I feel like Vine, bro, whenever there was a popular Vine, people would just, I don't know, they would run with it, like the saying and shit. But I feel like TikTok is my, I feel like TikTok, a lot of people would have to make a certain TikTok for it to catch on, if that makes sense. Not, yeah, what's 9 plus 10? 21? Like shit like that. Oh, and then, yeah, like, yeah, the crackhead kid. So Vine was definitely more influential, bro slang out of it i don't think i heard a single soul say the word yeet in ages not that yeet, true but you know what i'm talking about but if you walk into a middle school or a high school or hell maybe even an elementary school you'll you'll hear words such as ohio riz and uh, just a bunch more slang words i think it's because you know it's more common for younger kids to have access to the internet now and honestly i think that's why school has changed so much Every kid is given a computer in school now. I mean, hell, we even went from learning in person to virtual. And to be honest, it's probably not the best idea to give kids access to- Chad, did y'all like, um, did, did y'all like, um, internet, um, classes? 
Uh, one of the the only worst feelings about how like you know Zoom classes and everything. And I know a lot of y'all deal with this. You would be in the class and you would you would sleep and then you would wake up and you're the only one in the room and you're like fuck. Oh, I'm, hopefully the teacher forgot or some shit because now I look I look I that was that had got to be one of the most awkward things because Chad, bro, I always slept in Zoom classes. You're telling me I wake up in, in classes on the computer. You think you think I want to be in t- attentive to it? No, I'm asleep. I'm asleep, put the timer on, wake up. When it's time to leave, we're leaving. But yeah, I hate teachers that would be like, can you turn on your camera? No, what if I don't want to? I don't know. To the internet, cause you don't want them to find stuff that's just gonna be a bad influence on them. Want another video to watch? Watch this video on screen. Um, doughy video though. Um, school definitely has changed. Um, YouTube, if you're watching this, make sure you guys join us on Discord. Catch us on Twitch, links in the description, we're live every day. Um, and make sure you guys subscribe. We'll ask for life. Love y'all. And peace.